Hello dudes, today we have a special day because it's the first time ever that I reply to a question of yours. So it's a question from a person I supposedly know from Masterclass. Uh, so supposedly he's a student of mine and supposedly he's a nice player. However, he is troubled and one man's trouble is another man's joy. So this is his question and I find it to be a great question and this is why I've included it in this lesson and if you feel you have a great question or even a mediocre question we can play this game of question and answers but more about that later let's hear what this how this man is troubled on another topic you may be able to give me some words of your wisdom my wisdom i don't know if i can adequately describe my present conundrum i have played more and more without headphones just acoustically this has led me to a more pushy and loud, somewhat less articulated play. Uh, back on my audio interface and headphones, the articulated playing style feels more appropriate, better. And the pushy style is too forceful. I can't seem to merge combine the two. On top of that, what works on one ditch doesn't work on another ditch. And it's another completely different story again on a PA at a masterclass. So, how do I bring consistency into it all? Do I make any sense? D-A-N Thanks for your question. I think it's a great question. I mean, extraordinarily great question. And the greatness of it is that you're asking yourself, you know, that is the greatest part of that question, is that you are asking yourself that question. And I will explain why, because I don't have a one answer for that question and it can be one answer from my perspective of life and the judo playing you can have one answer for that especially not a short one in other words um imagine that you're a fighter right and you have developed your fighting style however you will always adapt to a fighter you're facing right it, it matters if you're facing a sumo a sumo wrestler or you're facing a kickboxer right probably your approach won't be the same for these two guys then another thing is uh, what is your goal you know do you want to knock him out or you want to win by points or you just want to make a great show or you want to deliberately lose so what is your goal in that and it's very similar with playing always go for the knockout in other words you have to adapt to that environment that environment is almost like a part of your instrument and you expand your skills by also expanding your ability to adapt to different environments and you will never be able to develop one style which is perfect one way of playing which is perfect for all the possible environments so if you're playing in a big church or in a cave which has a huge reverb you will have to play slowly and this is how it goes i mean you can force to play fast there because you've practiced fast at home but it just won't work so actually if you want to play and be prepared to play properly probably should put actually the microphone the headphones and a huge reverb and practice like that you know it isn't a coincidence that the uh, gregorian chants were slow and you will find that certain techniques work better than others and you will respect that huge reverb as someone put a trailer on your on your race car and what can you do but drive in the first gear however with that in mind that you do adapt with every environment every environment teaches you something every environment gives you information about life and universe and ditch playing which is very closely together i would say that every time you go in a new situation you should evoke those memories of what it was like to play in similar environments and play according to that also when you are in an environment where you can't hear yourself like i don't know you, you busk in the street you have some memory of what it sounded in your room even if you can't hear 80% of what you're playing, you can interpolate a little bit of, of those 20% that you can hear with that that you um, remember hearing when you were playing the same thing. And I think it means something, you know, that 
you have also this core knowledge of uh, what the dish sound is, and the dish sound exiting from the tube there is different than the one that comes to your ear, because this one gets more reflection than the one that goes straight out. Your audience is usually in front, and that also means something. Now, to go a little bit more specific, because I feel you need to get a little bit more useful answer than just this, it all depends, adapt to it. How do I approach this matter? Well, thanks for asking. So we need an example and we need a pushy example. So we will take one of my unpublished songs for, from unpublished album and it has like a verse and a chorus. And the verse is more a pulley part, but it does have push, it goes like this. <laughs> And then the chorus or the bridge is more pushy. So it goes like this. Now you see there, I know when I'm not playing with the headphones that I usually play it in the way you said, you know, you, you let the air out and uh, it feels nice in the body. But then when you put the microphone to that, it doesn't sound that nice. It isn't that defined. It's not well contained. The sounds are a bit all over the place. And when I, now I don't have headphones, but what I know that the common problems are, and um, I, I keep that in mind usually, even when I'm playing with without headphones, is that when I'm pulling the sounds, I try that to it not to be too strong in comparison to the to the drone, right? So instead of playing, I try to tame it a little bit. So that's one adjustment that I do. Another is that. You've seen this push is you can set a neutral position of your tongue and have that air go straight to your lips. However, I prefer that I make a small explosion by slightly pure compressing air by going with my tongue backwards, which blocks the air and have that that front attack. Now I've overdone it. It is not exactly what I do, but I bring that quality into that bridge and it sounds better. Also, when I go to higher toots, again, I take care that I don't give them as much air as I do for the drone, which is deeper and needs more air to have the same volume like toots, which are higher. So when I adapt this, the plane goes approximately to uh, this scenario. And I would say that even though I can't hear it, probably I will approximate it 80-ish percent, 90-ish percent of what I would actually play it if I had the microphone and headphones plugged. If I have headphones, it would be easier for me. And this is um, not to say you have to do everything perfectly, like if God was watching you all the time and knowing all your thoughts and mistakes, and you just have to have that one perfect thing going on. It's more like adapt, but also keep in mind what you've learned and somehow make the best out of it. You can never have one ditch which is best for all the playing, you can never have one room, one microphone, one uh, type of playing, which will 
you know, work every time as the best option. And you are here to explore that, you know, ever changing environment in your present moment. And why shouldn't you react to it? Why should you be like a robot that has learned it all? And just, you know, go from place to place and play every time the same. I think a lot of magic of live performing is mixing everything together. You know, the you have your usually familiar dish, but the PA is new and the audience brings you new energy and the venue is different and it reacts in a different way. And you're there to test your dance and you do dance around those things. You know the moves, but you are open to learn new ones along the way. So I hope this helps, even though it isn't that one liner that would save the universe, like 42. My beloved followers, if you have more did you do questions for me, leave them in the comments. And if we manage to get enough, which is maybe one and a half or two, we can make a new video and hopefully I will provide some useful information for you uh, to help your path spiral out even better. Thank you. Spiral out. Keep digging.